Yeah, Eloy, how did you feel about the room? Because you were trying not uh, to break it down, but... I don't, uh, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part about it? Not it. <laughs> With no credits. <laughs> um, Do you remember how many sex scenes were in the movie? Too many. <laughs> I think it was like five. That's too many. I will in the way you have a bullet. Oh, yeah. I will run in the very next day. That's my ass shot in this one. <laughs> my favorite was the music, definitely. <laughs> All the, like, the freelance artists they paid? <laughs> no. It's terrible. It's it just really seems like... Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> it was entertaining, though. It's, it is funny. Somebody put that, like... I think it was on Reddit, also. That it was, like... It's pretty interesting that Tommy played himself... And that he, like, he was widely criticized as, like, you know, like he was one of the worst movies ever. And then some guy literally just does an impression of him and then about making the movie. And then yeah. it's like, oh, this shit is gold. This is amazing acting. And it's like, it's so weird. Because all he, he, all he, does, he had to do was, like, learn the voice and then not act. Like, that was his yeah. acting. And that's, that's like, <laughs> that's unbelievable to me in a way. It's just creepy because Franco... As much of a like a, a, it's funny to paint him as like a pothead actor that gets like good roles. Usually, he's definitely he's a pothead. Really, really dug into this role and researched as well. Yeah, I, I'll give shots out to Dave Franco. Also, he did really good playing Mark Greg Sestero, the other guy who plays Mark in yeah. uh, the room. Because I I read about what happened during the filming of it, but seeing how they actually met and how it like it really did line up. It's fucking disturbing. Really? They met in acting class. Oh and Greg, he's a, he had the looks, but he just couldn't be a good actor. Yeah, he just wasn't. So, yeah. so he was in acting class and then sat down and then uh, the teacher was like, oh, okay, so uh, anyone else want to try out a scene? And you hear, I will. <laughs> 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 and it's fucking Tommy was out. <laughs> just pulls out a chair, sits down on it, and just starts fucking yelling. Throwing the chair, like saying weird shit. Wait, was the what was the scene like? like I don't went know. into like what? Go into a daycare and be a loving father. No one knew. Like, what did he... No one knew. He just got up, walked up to the front, sat on the chair, and then was like, ah, ah, ah. Are you fucking serious? And then Greg approached him after, and then they got coffee, whatever, and hung out. And um, it's one of the funny scenes in the movie. Greg uh, was playing football with a couple of the kids in his neighborhood, being a good guy. And uh, Tommy pulls up. He's like, okay, let's go. Let's go practice. Bring football. <laughs> Bring the football. <laughs> and they go to the coffee shop, and they start reading, like, Shakespeare. And then what, are they passing the ball back and forth between a coffee table? <laughs> no, they're just yelling out lines in the coffee shop. What? <laughs> Tommy's like, yeah, just fucking read it. Pretend no one's here, whatever. Just do you. And... <laughs> What the f I was like, fuck? Oh god! And then he had a place in Los Angeles as well as San Francisco, which you know is expensive. It's not the cheapest thing yeah. ever. Well, didn't, to he, didn't do. he pay for the movie with his own money? Yeah, five million. Where did he get the money? Well, that's is he like a crime lord? Too. Seth Rogen was a director and one of the, I guess, one of the screen, uh, script advisors. So he went to cast a check because he thought it wasn't even going to go through, and the bank teller was like, "Oh, okay." Like, between you and me, this guy's account's like a bottomless pit. Uh -huh. like what? The money never stops coming in. <laughs> so what is he making money from? Don't know, dude. dude. He's, he's, oh, the like fact that we don't know is so fucking he, sus to me. And he always said he's from like, Atlanta. <laughs> this game is good. <laughs> he, he always said he's from Atlanta. Th really? Yeah. Wait, yeah. I'm from Tommy Atlanta. Liza? Yeah. Oh, my God. There's just so, there's so many cool things about this Astro Artist. Like... Greg, he got an um, agent, yeah, agency and all that, but mm -hmm. then just wasn't getting that many roles. So, like, yeah, he got to the point where a lot of people struggled to get to, but still, he wasn't uh -huh. getting shit. So, him and Tommy were like, let's just make a movie. How about we make our own movie? That's how you're supposed to do it, and it's not supposed to suck like that. <laughs> it sucked. It said 40 days of shooting. 
No, it was it was definitely like sixty five. <laughs> That's still not a lot. It's so, but so much. Like it was only supposed to be like thirty nine, forty days. What? It went like just kept going over. Probably because they had to keep redoing all the scenes because Tommy was out sucks at all like acting, like yeah, acting sh- and speaking English. And also, Tommy would show up late to a lot of stuff and change his mind about so many things. I mean, and he would fire, this is from the biography, he would, he would also fire a lot of the people that would be working on set as well. Oh, so he Trumpified them. He, could, he just had all the money and the power. Sure. And he would, well, he, he, <laughs> that, was a, that was a you're fired joke. That was not a, uh, like a, that was not a political stab. That was just he, Trump. Well, Trump's fired a lot of people. He just, mm. does, he just does that. Yeah. He just yeah. would just be kind of out there about everything. And uh, hopefully this isn't true, but then... There's a scene there at the coffee shop, and Target. Brian Cranston's there. Since this is around the time Malcolm in the Middle is getting like, really popular, uh huh. And so, that? like, he offers Greg, like, "Oh, we need a lumberjack, and he has a beer." So, like, you'd be perfect for this role. I say, all right, awesome. Blah 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 blah. Tommy's like, "Nope, I need you, but if you don't want to show up, that's fine. It's on you. But I need you, babyface, for this scene." He always call him babyface for some reason, and so he just Greg skipped down on the Malcolm in the Middle role. And decided to stay around for that scene where he shows up in the tux, clean shaven. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you look oh, nice. So handsome. Oh, baby face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. That whole... I, I, it's really bizarre that he went as far as he did. Because like, now it's known as like a cult classic kind of thing. Yeah. It's Are you we- serious? Yes. Everyone yeah, laughed. Yeah. It was supposed to be a drama, but then the premiere... People were fucking laughing. Tommy, like, left. Yeah, he was he probably was upset. upset. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. Then all of a sudden, he just twisted it after Greg talked to him. He went on stage. He's like, thank you all for enjoying my comedy. Dark comedy. <laughs> oh, my God. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I guess when, when, when life gives you shit-covered lemons, you can make lemonade out of it. Well, actually, except you're the one who shit out the lemons. <laughs> it's, like, it's so true. In the last, like... What, end of November to now? Mm-hmm. I think I watched that movie four times. Did you really? Because it's just, I can't look away from it's it. It's so good it's because so it's so bad. Horrible. Yeah. It's so bad. But it, like, it's, it's so amazing rack. to watch. Can I kiss you? <laughs> no, Denny. Yeah. You're such a little brat. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Denny. <laughs> Three is a crowd. I just owe him some money. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, it's You're so not gross. my fucking mother. <laughs> <laughs> And she was like, that mother was so weird. Oh, well, I just came back from the doctor. Oh, yeah, it's breast cancer. <laughs> oh, darn. Like, it was, that was the weirdest part is that she took breast cancer as almost just like, like it was, it was L.A. traffic. Yeah. <laughs> and she, and that was brought up in the disaster artist also. She's like, is this going to come up anytime later? So I was like, no, no, no. That's where we asked for a feeling. I forgot what he said, but it was like she was like, "Okay, just kick the dog in the face." That's that's weird. And then uh, apparently she suffered from heat stroke on the set because Tommy was like an hour and a half late. Motherfucker, this guy. <laughs> what, dude? I swear to God, he's out like dragging. He's like a hitman. I, th- I think he's a professional Seriously, hitman. Though, like I'm thinking, like he's a part of like some mobster group from fucking Italy or something. He was way too buff looking in the movie. Yeah, that's like, why. He, he was definitely he's some hitman. To that's what. Remember we remember what we were saying. I was like, dude, I think that's that's the body of a dude or dude who's like dragged a shit ton of bodies up and down. I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it, dude. That is absolutely that is the face of a hitman. Seriously, though. right there. Ah. Uh-huh. I'll kill you for I'll kill yourself for five hundred dollars. Uh-uh. I did not hit her. I did, I not. did not. I did not. Oh hi, Mark. Oh hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, <laughs> there's no that's like terrible movie. There's no transition. Like th- that's the thing. Like the theme of that movie is just things happen. Yeah. There's no rhyme or reason for any of it. It nope. just happens. <laughs> Lord Bottom Bone, I did not hit her, I did 